Hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Warfax C Shop Uncut Let's Play series. In today's episode, we're continuing last where we last left off, where we began our air bombing campaign against the aliens, which was less than successful. If we go to the uh, system, as we can see, uh, we lost 13 Fury class close air support fighters and only managed to destroy one enemy vehicle. Due to this, um, I have decided that the best course of action is to hold off for our ground forces. Another thing that we did learn from the enemy is that they are primarily ground-based armoured. As such, we will need anti-vehicle capable weapons, and that is why I will be issuing an order to the research to begin immediate research uh, on getting us better ground combat weaponry. So we're going to cancel the project for now, and I'm going to focus on getting ourselves uh, heavy, uh, heavy uh, anti-vehicle weapons. There we go, heavy anti-vehicle weapons. This will allow us to get about 60 pen with our current technology, which will allow us to penetrate most, if not all, armored vehicles at, that we have faced so far. <sighs> In terms of other things I want to do this episode, I want to get our carrier done. We had finally put into production our, the FRSS Impassive, named after one of our members, uh, one of the senators of the uh, of the Federalist Republic. 33.5% uh, done. Uh, once that is done, uh, we will be ready to bring the fight to the precursors on Gre in Greenbridge. But to do that, we have a few things before we can fully send it out. First thing we've got to do, design the AMMs for both our cruisers and also our fighters. Number two, build up more fighters for the actual uh, for the actual carrier. And then we also have to design new fighters, uh, such as space, e space AWACS and other things like that. And we also have to design some boarding craft uh, as well, uh, because I want to take one of those lovely battleships for myself. So the first thing that we're going to need to do, uh, if we have a look at our supercarrier there, there we go. Uh, we can fit a total of 58, I believe. Yeah, 58 fighters. We have, we're we going to have a squadron of 48 to start with. I will have the interceptors eventually, but we're going to start with the 48 aardvarks. Um, but we are going to need some kind of um, detection. So I'm going to design a new class and I'm going to base it off of the aardvark block 2. So we're going to copy the design, we're going to remove uh, the fighter pod base, the missile fire controls, as well as the box launchers. And I'm also going to update the armor, there we go. And now I'm going to input in two sensors. First is going to be a size 2, resolution 100 active search sensor. And the second is going to be a resolution 1 size 2 uh, search sensor. The reason for the size 1 is so that we can actually fire the AMMs against missiles if they come in, and also uh, that will be able to detect uh, enemy forces from a significant distance away. Uh, or keep, in mind, uh, keep in mind that I want this ship to be as fast as, or this, this, uh, this sensor craft to be as fast as our normal fighters, so they're able to keep up with them. Uh, so we're going to uh, make sure we have prototypes on, and then we're going to add both of these to the design. There we go, we get 500 tons, that's perfect. 150 BP, um, and let's rename the class. I'm going to rename it to Growler. I think that's a good name. It's also one of the names, I believe, uh, that, came, that, that the US uses. Um, we're going to give it a new hull. It's going to be uh, Space Early Warning system uh early warning uh, spacecraft so s-e-w-s uh, or just we'll just do craft so s-e-w-c uh, so then we'll do s-e-w-c so it's like an AWAC but it's a space whack or c -wack. um oh i forgot to add the a didn't i i didn't i should have added that into the actual design on the name uh we name class Crowler, yep. We need new hull designation. My bad. My my bad. Uh, space early warning warning spacecraft because usually it'll be aircraft. So S E W space early warning spacecraft. So S E W S C, and that works for us. Uh, we'll start to remove the ordnance so it doesn't get confused. There we go. 
and everything is looking funky dory there. Next thing I'm going to design, uh, the, these are going to be the immediate things we'll actually need for the design, is going to be a 1000 ton boarding craft. But to do that, I'm going to need access to uh, boarding bays. And to get access to boarding bays, I need to gain access to uh, ground combat. I need to get access to troop transport boarding bays, uh, which is not going to be an easy feat whatsoever. Uh, let's actually get those sensors researched though, because that's going to be a priority for me. Um, because with these growlers, we can then extend the range of our fighters significantly further than anything else we would ever be able to. So we're going to order that to be done through the sensors, uh, so that we get the sensors done as quickly as possible. There we go, and then also that sensor. And last thing I want to check out is how many... Uh, fighters do we have right now? We have 36 fighters. We're going to need 12 more of them. So our Vark Block 2s, let's produce 12 more, please. Um, and then we're also going to need the missiles for them. Now, our power propulsion is currently focusing on getting the cruiser engine done, but I want to focus on right now getting us the Power Mod X3 bonus. So we're probably not going to be going in with AMMs, which is going to be kind of annoying. But I still think that we should be able to be pretty effective. Now, in terms of the situation over here, I'm going to order the task group immediately back to port. Um, this has obviously not worked out to our advantage, so I'm going to order you back to Sol uh, to refuel. There we go. Um, and then if I have a look at uh, the ruined city over here, we are, we've been digging up things. Um, and also our capacity has been increasing over here, but we need to get fuel supplied properly, which we are doing somewhat over here. Um, but we need a lot more population if we are going to make that actually work out for us. Um, so let's just inc start incrementing a few days down. But yeah, we're going to leave that and then wait for our ground forces. Let's actually have a look at our ground forces right now. So we have the Marine Expeditionary Force, we need the regiments to complete, and then we can put all the forces in there. My biggest concern with our army is going to be dealing with, um, specifically, the ar the enemy armoured forces. That's my biggest concern uh, right now, anyway. Uh, so, we're constructing three Marine regiments right now. That'll be done September 11th of 2200. Okay, let's just keep incrementing. Unfortunately, they're all going to die. Uh, I'm not going to be able to save them. So their losses will uh, their, their losses will, will not be in vain, and they will do their jobs. Uh, so in passive, should now have 20 maintenance facilities. Very good. Is there anything else we need? Ordnance, refueling. Yeah, we pretty much got everything that we need. One thing I am going to do, actually, is move that uh, research laboratory off the, the planet because we're going to... <laughs> You know, that's we're not going to be researching stuff on this world. So I'm going to move this research facility, uh, load, and we're going to take you over to Sol, and we'll just dump you onto the planet. And make sure you also refuel from the colony. Very, very good. I've also been thinking about designing a new class of fighters that will be much faster and designed to just build uh, naval outposts at locations. But I'm not too sure about that capability just yet. Um, Okay, lamina, damage control, cloaking. Let's just reduce thermal signature as much as we can, I think. Actually, just get started on lamina. That'll take you 20 years, though, to actually research better armor. Armor, which we will desperately need if we're going to handle things. Task group alpha is now back at Earth. Good to know. We will still make use of the carrier air support fighters. It's just going to be a question of how and when. Um, yeah, that's that's really going to be it. Um, so marine regiment, marine infantry. I'm going to hope our marines do well. I mean, we're going to have six times the enemy forces, but they're going to still probably have the armor advantage. Uh, the question is, is how well we'll actually be able to perform in terms of that. And then we also have to assault the world. Um, which is going to be quite an interesting uh, thing to do. Okay, we built an artillery battery. Very, very good. Now we are just waiting for getting everything that we need over here. So regiment, battery, regiment, regiment. Um, let me also order another regiment. Uh, and if we have a look at production over here, we're building combat engineer battalions, which we're going to need for the brigades that I'll be sending out across 
across and stuff. So we just completed uh, 12 more Aardvark class uh, fighters. There we go. Uh, Carmen Engineer Battalion was trained on the rice. Great to know. Uh, science team, we complete research into one of those. And we also found more maintenance supplies and then passive, which is good because that will be useful. Okay, you can leave such into the new ion drive. That should now mean that we have access to building the Senya class cruisers. No? Oh, yes, we're going to remove that, aren't we? And then we'll have to add in the actual ion drive. There we go. So now we can build the Senya class cruiser. Uh, we're going to build two of these. Uh, they are going to be our AMM support as well as our sensor boats. So let's go over to our 15,000 ton. So guys, speaking of that, I'm going to put continual capacity upgrade to 10,000 tons over here. And then I'm going to retool this shipyard for the Senya class. Uh, where the hell is the Senya class? It should be in here. Senya, Senya, Senya. I can't see it. You should not be a prototype anymore. Oh, we still have a single, uh, what's that, the electromagnetic sensor to research. Oh, what a pain. Um, fine, get that researched when you can. So the biggest concern when we really think about it, if we have a look at the alien forces, we look at their ship classes, it's going to be these, uh, these Albany-class battleships, right? They're 25,000 tons here, and we've observed significant capabilities from them. That's my biggest concern, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of fighter pokey pokey pokey. Uh, my question, though, is if we have a look at the Groombridge situation, what is the distance from, from planets? That is, what, 3 billion kilometers from the, from the planet? Okay. We have a, what, uh, uh, 300 million kilometer range with our, with our fighters? Yeah, around a 300 million kilometer range. So we're going to have to to wait primarily uh, if we were to actually enter in because they could be here and that would cause issues because we want to fight them as far away as possible from our actual ships and our actual capabilities. Um, okay, we, can we found the deep space tracking station, which is nice. And keep incrementing along. Next year, we'll have the supercarrier done. Combat engineer battalion was completed on rice. Uh, let's actually assign all these combat engineer battalions to the appropriate divisions. So combat engineer and combat engineer. Uh, we don't have any more brigades, but we now have four brigades, which should go under a division command. Uh, speaking of that division command, we should probably get that sorted out for us. Uh, Federalist Army, Army Corps, Army Divisional Headquarters. There we go. So we're going to make a infantry division. There we go. Uh, FRA. And I'm going to put in the division headquarters. And it's going to be basically the same thing as the marine division, except... Uh, yeah, it's going to be the same thing as the marine division, practically speaking. So we're going to have 479 of these MSVs in there. So 479, there we go. Uh, and that's going to give us a cost of 1,268. So the question is, is do I have the BP to actually cover that? Or am I going to have to build that? Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, I'm going to have to build that. So, um, we got that design. And then we'll also need to add in the Army Corps. Uh, Army Corps. FRA. And that is going to require one of these puppies. There we go. Um, and that will just be for organizational purposes, really. Um, Expeditionary Force over here has 800, so we'll add 800 as well, but I don't think it'll be as needed due to the role of the actual stuff that's fighting. So now that we have those two, let's order an Army Corps up, and let's also order up uh, an Infantry Division. We'll do up a couple of those, actually. And that'll take five years to produce an Army Corps HQ, which is quite a long time when you think about it. Uh, this good more abandoned infrastructure on Impassive, which is going to help, uh, you know, help more people work. Uh, we can support a much bigger population. Um, we've also moved the laboratory off as well, which is going to help with maintenance capacity uh, support. 
Okay. How is our Galasite situation actually looking, though, while we wait here? Empire Mining. It's going up. That is good. So far, resource-wise, it's going up. Our Sorium's looking a little bit weird at the moment, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, one of the active research facility on Shrew 2398B2. Uh, did you guys find another one? Uh, did the guy die? Is that why? Okay, I won't really worry about that. Uh, the Paula Diaz is in Sirius and is currently running out of fuel. You should be able to make it. Just fine with that much fuel. We searched and search and search that now that should mean that the Senya, not Senya, but the uh, Growler class uh, is going to be done. So we're going to have four squadrons. So I'm going to build four Growlers. Uh, so construction. Fighter, yeah, four growlers um, to be produced immediately. Okay, uh, Paula Diaz uh, needs new orders. We will give you new orders. Uh, let's move you to resupply, please. Then send you over to Altair and uh, see if you can see if you can help out there. Oops. Okay, overall, the episode is going pretty well. Uh, we do, Super Carrier is still going to be a little bit ways out here. We're waiting for a lot of ground construction to actually be completed, as well as also our troop transports to uh, get sorted out here. Um, if we have a look at this, they'll be done somewhat soon. We're th two thirds of the way done on the Super Carrier. And we're also still now waiting on getting ourselves some better electromagnetic sensors done somewhat shortly here so that we can provide sensor capabilities. Research facility is on Earth that needs to be assigned to something. There we go. We'll assign that to there. We'll also have a year until we can get our heavy vehicle weapon completed. Production of fighter factories done on Earth. Uh, let us put the rest into research facilities, which we will always need uh, if we are going to continue. And we produce the fourth growler. Okay, very good. Diego Silva's and Sirius again. New formation order. Okay, everything is looking great here. Looks like both of our vessels need refueling. They are in Sirius. They'll get fuel just fine. Combat engineer. Regiments trained on Earth. So now we can actually assign those, which will be really, really nice. Uh, so if you have a look over at Ego, fuel available is ballooning up there. Um, got a lot more fuel there located in terms wise so that's really really good we also have some maintenance uh, maintenance supplies located on ego so ego is i'm actually going to rename the population to a naval staging ground and i'm going to think about moving over moving over further forces uh, specifically uh we did just complete those regiments though so now we can actually start to organize our marines up so First thing is, we're going to assign all these battalions into the infantry regiment. Uh, yeah, infantry regiment. Drag and select, boys and girls. Okay. Then we're going to put those under the Marine Division. So that's three regiments there. That puts us at 120,000 tons total. Uh, the Marine Expeditionary Force is 170,000 tons right now, right? Um, so we'll have to send the Marine Division, likely. That'll be what we'll be sending to fight. Um, what else are we waiting on? we got the towed artillery batteries, but we need more regiments to actually be able to fill that. We're also waiting on probably the reconnaissance battalions, I do believe. Yeah, so we're building two light armor reconnaissance. We're also building another Marine Division, and we're building... Uh, why are we building an army corps here? Uh, delete task, delete task. Yep, delete task. Uh, so, once those are done, that'll be good. Um, I'm also going to build a Marine Combat Engineer Battalion, uh, which we'll need. Those will all be done in August or September of next year. Uh, over here at Rice is where I will actually be producing it. So, Army Corps, and then we also want the Infantry Divisions. Uh, there we go, and they'll be done on in a good five years, even with our better technology available to us. Uh, where can we actually send these guys to that they can survey? Yeah, it's Altair. We'll just keep sending them to Altair because uh, that's really where I want to know things. 
Uh, then you can go to go to Altair after. You go to Altair and continue surveying, doing all of your great work. Okay. Okay, we're nearly in 20, 20, uh, 2201. 2201. We just need to wait a few more increments, but we should have our super carrier done somewhat shortly here. My Frobisher is now an Altair, doesn't have any further orders. Okay, we'll find you a new place then if Altair is all out. Um, GL Virginus, we'll go to there then. Uh, GL, GL, there we go. You can go and do stuff in that place. Uh, refit to the NATO Black Tower class, good. Let's continue our refits of these vessels. So we're going to tell to now tell B. Uh, so that will refit them, refit them. Uh, what are all the Natals in orbit right now? So we have three currently next 55 booter system. Let's send them back to Sol to refuel. And then we'll get them changed out. And then once we have all of these set back to the PAs, then we can actually start invading the wor that world, which is going to be really a tough nut to crack. Um, definitely. Yeah, Super Carrier should be relatively done shortly here soon. Uh, what is the estimated time on that? Complete research into an electromagnetic sensor so we can actually start building the Senya class. Uh, we are nearly 80% of the way there. Let's start retooling uh, provisions for the Explorer. So we're going to retool to the Senya class. There we go. Uh, so that retooling will be done in 2022, January. So that's like about a year or so. Uh, did I give this a new class proper naming? No, I did not. Uh, we'll do... Jap Why don't we do Japanese cruisers? Well, actually, since the the class is a Russian thing, that should be Russian, right? Uh, Russian cruisers. Yeah, we'll name it after Russian cruisers. So, FRSS. Select random name from theme. There we go. And um, we'll get those built as soon as we can, realistically enough. But we is going to take a while. Um, 13 inactive research facilities, uh, let's put those into getting us better electronic warfare capabilities. And then also going to put that into Elant, because we're going to want a scout ship of some kind at some point. Okay, um, inactive research facilities, good, uh, Paula Diaz, why don't we send you to GL Virginis as well. Something that people also say in the comments that there are some components left on this world that could be disassembled. Yeah, there are, in fact. We'll disassemble all of those then. Um, there's in passive, Annie. We have a combat information centers. Let's disassemble all of those. That's very, very nice. So we gain some research on jump drive and also refueling. And then we also gain research on combat information centers. So if we go over to sensor fire controls. Yeah, that help that helps a little bit with the combat information sensor capabilities. Uh, oh, I saved by accident now. I'll give you a second. And then if I get increments. The Natals have reached Earth. Let's continue the refit process. So after these next Natals, we we'll only have two more to do, which shouldn't take that long. We're looking at probably an invasion in the 20, uh, 2203, uh, something like that. Uh, so Martin Frobisher, let's send you to, where could we send you guys to? Probably, we're really willing out of places to send people to, Lacal. Let's send you guys to Lacal, 9325, and you... Surveying in the Altair system, you're doing fine. You're also doing fine. Navitational survey completed. Diego Silves will tell you then to go over to Lacal 9325. It's a significant distance, Jesus. So much to Sol. Resupply, resupply, then head to Lacal 3925. Uh, we complete research into jump stabilization module, which is nice to see. Uh, let's continue our research. Let's get mining production increased. 
How is Sirius looking? We're on 240 automated mines at the moment. Um, we are producing a lot more Galasite, which is covering costs uh, of other things. Finished refit of another Natal. Uh, let's continue our refits. And uh, we're nearly done with the Normandy here. Or the uh, FRSS Impassive, which will hopefully be done shortly. Research lab is free on Earth. Let's assign that immediately. Paula Diaz requires new orders. Uh, we're going to send you to Lacal then. Okay, Martin Frobisher is in at 55 Buddhas. Um, let's have you resupply from the colony and then we're going to head you over to Lacal as well. Finding more abandoned things, we're finding Corundium. And there's our super carrier constructed. Commodore Anna Hart as commanding officer. Uh, and we also have chief engineer, executive officer, and the various likes. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to find a fleet commander. So go over here. Uh, we're going to go to fleet commander. I want a naval officer of the rank of... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to rear, well, rear admiral at minimum rank for this. So we're going to go for minimum rank of rear admiral. And you need to be great at carrier operations. So Rear Admiral Laura, Archie Rose, Edward and Natior. So we're going to go for Archie Rose. You're male, right? I can't tell. Free Elite Admiral first, Space Lord Admiral. And Rear Admiral Laura. Well, you'll you're getting renamed, mister. Uh, so we're gonna rename you to uh God, I'm I forgetting Dax. Yeah, Dax. Dax Impassive, uh, who's going to be in command of the uh, the Impassive. So assign that. You're now Fleet Commander. Now let's uh, sort out our little organizational problem here. Uh, where is our shipyard fleet? There it is. Very, very nice. Uh, we have freighters and also destroyer escorts just lying around over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to grab the Impassive. Uh, throw it into this task group. We're going to grab all of these destroyers and throw them in as well. So we'll do three destroyers. Uh, yeah, three three destroyers there. Um, looking good. I also need. I also forgot. I need to assign ordnance to the vessel, don't I? Uh, we're gonna add in just. We're gonna go for Mark II strikers. Just mass amounts of Mark II strikers. Okay. Uh, then we need to add in the cruisers, but we don't have that yet. What we can add in, though, is going to be the A-Lodge and also the LCLA, or LCA. There we go. So that is looking good. So we have four Aegis class destroyers for defense there. Uh, task group, fire wing, fire wing. Right. Where is my carrier? There it is. There it is. So we had to bring all these POVs along as well, which we will bring for close air support if we do need to. Um, we could actually pack more strikers if we wanted onto this vessel, but that's not really what I'm going to worry about just now. Uh, let me have a think, though. We need to add in the fighters, don't we? So uh, let's go over to new fighters. We have a lot of fighters to add. Uh, so I'm going to just... Detach all of these boys. Go to fleets. We want to go for task group alpha here. And uh, land in land on the impassive, please. Okay, they all have. Now I need to sort this organization out because this is gonna get pretty messy. Uh so we're going to grab all of these. Okay, we're gonna split these into into squadrons of 12, ideally speaking. Uh, let's get squadrons of 12, I think will work. We could do wings of 12, squadrons of 24. 24, 48, 24, 48, 96 missiles apiece, that would be right. Uh, yeah, we'll do that for now. That'll be an easier way to organize it. So we're going to rename this to the first, um, Adva. Lock to attack squadron or strike squadron. 
and I'm going to rename this, copy that, there we go. I'm going to tell you to rejoin and land on the same mother ship as Fleet. Then we're going to grab all the other artworks over here. We're going to rename it accordingly, call it the second. And I'm going to tell them to join up the on the fleet, land on the same mother ship. And I'm going to detach all of these. And we're going to have them uh, rename this to the first uh, carrier air support wing. First cast wing, and we'll assign that to the task group, land on the same mother ship as subfleet. Uh, create another subfleet. This is going to be for the destroyers, destroyer escort squadron. So there's a subfleet for that, and then we're going to assign all the destroyers into it. Okay, and uh, we'll let everyone land. There we go. So now we have uh, we have both squadrons here. Everything's looking great and organized and very, very nice. We're going to refuel, replace ordnance, all that good stuff. Okay, Diego Sills, can you stop bothering me? I've got more important things to worry about here. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Go to look out. So, let's have a look. Are we all topped up ordnance wise? Uh, the impassive, yes. Ordnance, not enough ammunition as I may like here. Uh, yeah, we don't have as much ammo as I'd want. These are fine. These are full, actually. Uh, growlers are also fine. We need more ammunition. That's the problem. So we're going to wait a little bit, and we're going to produce our Mark II Striker AM, uh, ASMs here. I'm going to produce a 1,000 more of these immediately. That will be done in August. So now we have our carrier available to us, which is bloody-tastic. Uh, now let's continue our refitting efforts uh, in the town. And by the end of this episode, we should be able to get ourselves into some either ground combat or into some large ship naval combat. Either way, I will be very, very excited to find out. Um, increments. Okay, we finished the heavy anti vehicle weapon, I do believe. So now we can actually start designing some medium vehicles with it. So heavy anti vehicle, and then we're also going to go for heavy crude anti personnel weapon. And we're going to call this the um, medium. Uh, I'll actually rename this to like a combat mech. Um, FMC Marine Combat Mech. And it's going to be like a per personal um, combat mech infantry. Uh, we'll give it 2201. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm also going to give it the heavy, the heavy armor. Uh, we'll create that design. And I'll put that into research next to the troop transport base. So we also have the super heavy anti-vehicle weapon as well, if we really needed that. But we're not going to need that, so I'm not too, too worried. We could also make some titans at some point, which would be quite interesting. Uh, the first light armor reconnaissance brigade just completed construction. Let's assign that to the division. Uh, then we need to figure out what is going on with the ground force construction. So we're waiting on the marine regiment, reconnaissance, combat engineers, which will be done shortly. Fire factory done. We found the marine combat engineer battalion. Second light on like reconnaissance, and the infantry regiment just completed. So let's add in our infantry regiment. And then we're going to add in our uh, artillery battery. So these are going to be the long range, so marine long range one. So I'm going to add that. Then I want the normal artillery batteries. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now we have all of those set up for us. Let's add in the light armor reconnaissance to that. And then let's add in the marine combat engineer brigade to that. That gives us a total size right now 179,000 or 108,000 tons. Um, we can add a few brigades in for armor, or we can add in some light armored brigades, but I'm not really too short on that. The Marine Expeditionary Force is currently 230,000 tons. Um, yeah, well, we don't have the capacity to transport the entire thing over, so we'll have to wait on that for now. 
Okay, how is construction going on? Let me have a look. So how is how is we loading? Let's uh, let's do another ordinance load. Load ordinance, please. Very very nice. And we are nearly good. We're still waiting on the supply vessel. Let me have a look at the design. Make sure everything is set up correctly. Uh, design, design, design. Uh, supply vessel. Mark two seven fifty. Yeah, so we're gonna wait here because uh, we're gonna need a lot of ASMs for this. So I'm not gonna be cheap about it. Uh, ordinance wise, we have another six hundred and eighty three to complete. We're we're going to need a lot more than that. So I'm actually gonna modify this here to one hundred sixty eight three. That's gonna take us quite a bit of time though. Um. Hopefully retooling for the Senye class will be done somewhat shortly so we can actually start producing that. Uh, the Mount Frobisher requires new orders. Uh, we'll tell you to go to the jump point. Okay, good. Uh, how is the retooling going for that? And also the research on the power mod. That's going to take us like five years to complete. And in terms of retooling, we'll have that done in January, which is good. Gravitational survey, Diego Silves. Uh, let's have you sign a transit through there. Okay, we'll discover the system of beta canates. Oh, desert mountain, ancient auction atmosphere world. Looking nice. Temperature is in good, not tidally locked. Breathable atmosphere is the only issue. We just have to increase the oxygen supply. Very interesting, this, this place. Quite big for a system, but uh, yeah, I'm not too, too opposed to this. Uh, let's have a look. What was the problem? 20 inactive research facilities. Yeah, okay. Uh, sensors and fire controls. Let's uh, let's, let's uh, start researching electronic countermeasures or uh, ca electronic countermeasures. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put the rest into getting our power mod uh, up as quick as possible because that's going to be extremely important for our AMM capability. And retooling for the senior class has completed, so let's uh, begin construction of the first two. Uh, we're going to order for both of those to be produced into the shipyard fleet. Uh, the first one's going to be named after the class, so senior. Senior class, and then the next one's the Yuri Andropov. And uh, we'll construct both of those. Those will be done in, 20, in two years, so that's quite a bit away before we'll have access to both of those. Um... Yeah, how is the re the refilling coming on though? Because then we can start to actually transport forces over. Ah, uh, refits, refits, refits. Uh, they will be done in January or the latest for all of them will be May of twenty two zero three. Do we have any more Natals in orbit that we would need to refit? No, we don't. So we just have to increment along and uh, wait for next year to come around. But yeah, it looks like this system's pretty damn juicy, I will say that. Uh, we complete construction of ground force construction complexes on rice, which is fantastic. So now we have six of these available. Let's order another six infantry battalions to be produced. Um, and I'm going to continue our production of ground force construction complexes. We're going to need another ten of these. Uh, yeah, ten of them. And uh, now we're just going to be waiting for next year. Um, then we can start to actually think about doing things. Paula Diaz, let's send you to, what is this, just the Bayer Cannon Brentium or whatever. Uh, Elant module just completed the research. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let me go for that then. I'm going to go for the Shrent 6 version. Um, I'm going to go for the 8000 one, uh, if possible. Uh, inactive research facilities, uh, good. We've done a lot of progress today, it feels like. Um, do we, should I build another one of these Normandy classes? I mean, what's the cost, right? It's 2,000 gallons, 2,000. I don't see the harm in it. Uh, we're going to build another supercarrier. And we're going to name it the FRSS. The FRSS, what, what other name can we name it after? Uh, the Vigilance, because that is a naval outpost, so we will name it after that. 
So there we go. So the vigilance will be constructed in two years. For the second supercarrier. Uh, Diego Silves uh, requires new orders. Let's have you resupply and head over to uh, the new, this new system because it is, intrigues me justly. The population's really growing up here on uh, on Ego. It's it's a hundred million population now, and we got a lot of workers. So I need to consider actually moving over uh, things to it to make use of that actual population that we're gaining from the planet. Uh, we fit on the towns. Infantry battalion trained on rice. Good to know. What are the resources like in this system? Minerals. Uh, Corundium, Tritanium. Nothing too, too impressive. From this system so far, anyway. Uh, deployment time, uh, refit, okay, now we're just going to be waiting for, I think, May before all of the Natals refit completely. I'm on Frobisher, completed orders. Uh, where's my Frobisher? Head back to Sol and, uh, refuel, resupply, and overhaul. In your overhaul. Uh, the question for me, though, is, oh, we also don't have a govern on Earth, which is kind of a problem. Or my assignment. Uh is how is our maintenance capacity actually holding up for this? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> that's that's how it's holding up. It's 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 actually just not holding it. Um Maintenance facilities one hundred more immediately, please. As we done in somewhat quick fashion. The sound class, uh the question is, do we have any more tiles we need to refit? No, yes we do. We are currently waiting for this year before we can uh let's continue our production here of just getting us way way more maintenance facilities which we'll need to actually be able to support the massive fleets that we are actually building okay april here soon enough the devonshire has run out of fuel fuel looks fine there what about fuel on rice? Fuel also looks fine on rice, looks fine on ego. Uh, the Devonshire, 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 where are you, Mr. Devonshire? Uh, logistics. Are you not refueling properly? You are not. That's the problem. Uh, you are need to go and refuel then immediately. And we'll hold you off from sending more maintenance supplies just yet. So big tax on what we're making. A lot more fuel we just found there. We've exploited the ruins fully on impassive. Did we find any further stockpiles of stuff? We found some true transport base or orbital mining modules. We can assemble all of those and we'll assemble those. That gave us quite a few research points into orbital mining, but that's about it. Okay, now we should have all the, I would think all, yeah, we have all the Natals now refitted correctly. So let me assign them all to a single group um, and we're going to get them moving immediately. Uh, speaking of that, we are going to send over our current task force. Uh, so, yeah, so this is this is the current task force right now. Um, let's have you first up. We saw we supply load orders, then we're going to head you over to Theta Phonasius. And I'm gonna send you yeah, send you there, and then they'll have the Natals load up the marine division. Uh so we have everything I think we're gonna need, yeah. So we're gonna load all of that up and we're gonna take that over to Data Phonasius. That'll take us 70 days though. So yeah, now we just wait, but we should be able to commence the invasion relatively shortly. Um now that they're all refitted and prepared for it, anyway. This will also be the first mission for the Impassive, our first ever Normandy-class supercarrier. And uh, let's yeah, let's go for the Combat Information Center, because that will be definitely useful for future upgrades of our vessels. I can group Alpha was unable to load in stuff. That's fine. Hold off there. 
For now, we're just going to be waiting here for the task group has arrived. Uh, let's have the task group move towards... Yeah, let's have them move towards this point. Uh, task group, alpha task group, task group. There we go. Uh, activate sensors, please. So we're going to activate your sensors. All active sensors on. And then we're going to head to the waypoint immediately. There we go. Active sensor is on. Uh, and we have quite long range ones as well in comparison to previous versions of vessels. Um, so I want you to approach within a 2 meter, 2 million kilometer radius. So we'll have you do that. Waypoint 6. Uh, waypoint. Move to location, please. There we go. We'll have you hold there for now until we have the forces arrive. Um, because that's just going to keep orbiting around. So we won't actually be able to do much until we actually have all of the troop transports here. They should be here well relatively soon. They take about double the time to arrive. There we go. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to send up the main force just to obviously check, make sure that everything is going to be okay. Okay. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Okay, halt there. Halt. And uh, there, those are the forces that we've detected so far, 8,000 tons. Here we go. Here's going to be the charge of the light brigade or the flight. Yeah, here we go. So these each of these ships does have five pieces of armor on them. They also have uh, drop bays. So we're going to make a colony and we are going to unload all forces onto that planet immediately. Here we go. So I, I hope we don't lose any of them to the, the surface to orbit weapons, but we may do. So here, here it is. So drop in inbound. Energy impacts, energy impacts. Uh, detached from fleet due to... Uh, oh, fuck, did I give the wrong order? I gave the wrong order. Orbital drop, orbital drop, orbital drop. Orbital drop complete. Uh, retreat, 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 retreat. As fast as you can, as fast as you can. They're taking weapon impacts. Looks like we lost one Natal for, for that. Did the ground forces make it onto the planet, though? That is the question. Did our ground forces make it onto the planet? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. All ground forces made it. That is a success. So we lost a single vessel. Um but we managed to land all forces on the planet. Now we need to organize our forces. We should be able to get away with that now. Um, field position. Uh, I'm going to order a rear echelon for all of the primary HQs. Okay. Rear echelon. Long range battery can be in rear echelon as well. These, they're going to be supporting. So, what can any of you have on this point? Which is spirit creation, I agree. Formations. Okay, we're just going to put you guys in support then. Also, we can't directly support a formation. So, we'll do support. There we go. Then we need the light armored reconnaissance brigades. I'm going to put these on frontline attack. Uh, we're going to have the combat engineers uh, go into a rear echelon position because they do not need to be fighting. We're going to put this into a rear echelon position. Okay, everything is set up correctly. Uh, we are also going to do ground force fighters uh, here. So I'm going to have the task group detach the carrier air support wing. Uh, we have 14 fighters left in this wing and we are going to go in and provide ground support. Um, Provide ground support over there. They should be able to get there in about, what is that, six minutes? We're taking some heavy fire with our, with our vessels. Okay, we got attacked. We had stuff in no hits though. We need to get right on top. Uh, five energy weapon impacts. Looks like we lost a fighter on the way there. 
Pass is now on the field. Uh, we should be able to show ships. Yeah, ground support aircraft. There we go. So now we are going to have them go and support. Uh, or we can only be assigned to be good. There's one or more. Uh, light armor reconnaissance. You guys should have support. I guess you guys don't. I guess I forgot to add that. That is unfortunate. Okay, fine. We'll have the cast fighters uh, provide uh, plaque suppression, carrier, provide ground cap. Um, see how that helps us. Uh, yeah, there we go. That guy was blown up, unfortunately. So here we go. Hopefully our ground forces do okay here. I don't have the highest confidence, I'll be honest with you guys. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so. First off, we immediately lose, lost the carrier air support. Uh, we estimate their forces are 250 50 tons. We lost 86 marines, 31 HMGs. Okay, casualties were not as bad as I expected. Were not as bad as I expected. Lost some reasons. They lost four units, though. Okay, let me have a, let me look through this. So, HMG teams fired. We hit eight times. <laughs> I'm kidding. We hit eight times. Um, that's not that's not great. I'll be honest. Penetration, penetration. So we went in, did damage here, Lieutenant Colonel. Attack reports. We destroyed three battle wagons and we shot 7,603 times. What was actually effective, though? Uh, just mainly shooting a lot of weapons. A lot, lot, lot of weapons. Um, a new alien unit detected. Battle wagon, penetration armor. That's it. Penetration 72 on the battle wagon. It's taken armor penetrated 2. Well, it seems like our battalions are holding up decently fine here. The reconnaissance battalions kind of got screwed over. Let's go for a full frontal defensive attack here. Field position. Uh, wait a second. Did my bombard? How did the bombardment do? Let's have a look at that. Um, HMG teams, HCAT, mortars. HMG mortars, mortars, mortars. Where the hell is all of our bombardment? Uh, new alien grounds when rack is AA time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, but we should have had uh, artillery support here. I would have thought anyway. Uh, so a few things I'm going to change up. First off, cast. You're going into search and destroy. Second off, artillery. Uh, you guys need to actually provide fire support. So we're going to give you into a frontline defense position. Because maybe there's something going wrong with this. Um, yeah, frontline defense. And I'm going to tell all of these formations uh, to do a frontline attack. There we go. We're going to go for a full attack force on that. That's how complete orders. Okay, here we go. We lost another Fury. We estimate they have 300... 60 battle wagons, 5,404 Raka warriors. We lost a lot more forces there. How many more casualties do we inflict? Barely any. Are you kidding me? Auto support. Attack report destroyed. These mountains are insanity. These mountains are actual insanity. I don't know what we're going to do here. I should have sent more forces. I think we need 600,000 tons for this. I mean, this is just ludicrous capabilities from their, from their side. And let's have a look at their forces. Uh, 34 and 18 aliens. Ground unit classes here. Armor penetrate 1. They seem to have weapons that are extremely capable. We don't know their current hit point or armor value due to not destroying enough of them. We lost two more. We lost six, seven weeks. We lost a lot less there, but we also were not inflicting very many casualties. They're, they're doing five to 60. We're killing five, they're killing 60. So we need 60 times their numbers, or 30 times. 
Bloody hell. Bloody, bloody, bloody hell. Uh, element report. What? I need element report it. So, Tell Artillery is actually firing. Um, it's not the most effective, though. God damn it all the hell. God damn it all the hell. We've lost about 10,000 tons worth of forces so far. Um, ooh, yeah, we've lost about 10,000 tons worth of forces total. Uh, let's just move everything back into a defensive posture. That seems to be working out best for us in comparison. Question is, would an orbital bombardment help at all? I don't think so. I really don't think an auto bombardment would actually help us there. The carrier air support fighters are trying to do the best that they can, but they're just not going to be able to do anything here. We lost two more of them. Um, estimate casualties, 111 Marines die. We killed five of the opponents. Yeah, that's not good enough for me. I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, killing that little is not going to be good enough for me. Okay, so the estimated forces are a lot lower now. Uh, we estimate they have a lot less in terms of actual force strength. 366 battle wagons, 3,000 warriors. Um, how are the, our opponents' damage against us specifically? So, it's taken our training, it's lost 19. Um, change from 88 to 123.1. One. So they're able to penetrate us, it does seem like that. They're, they're able to penetrate. Uh, do we have any further information? We know this is a medium vehicle, so that's something. Um, yeah, so we hit that thing on 129 times and we still bleed and kill it. I may have just sent an entire division to their deaths. But, we're going to do the best we can here. Um, ordnance fire. We lost 51 marines, we lost a bunch of towed artillery guns. Uh, we killed a single person. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I'm starting to think this world may be a little bit impossible to beat. We may need 600, 800,000 tons worth of forces. How is current supply looking? 100%. 100%. Supply is looking fine. Okay. Total forces. We've lost another 5,000 tons worth of forces. By God. Golly God, this is a. Uh, it's not. It's not looking good. It's not. It's not looking good at all for us. And our cast is being wiped out as well. We kill three more. The hit chance is just too low. We can't actually hit them. If we have a look at our shots, we're we're just hitting like nothing. It's uh It's it's a slaughter. It is it is a bit of a slaughter on their part. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying our best here, but, like, it's the amount of firepower we would need. I guess I'm going to need to get mountain capability right now. Uh, that's going to be our only our only shot here. Um, We can bring the Natals back. Uh, try and get the forces off the planet. Um, move to location. That's going to be my best guess of actually dealing with this. Oh, we just took another one. 52 more Marines just died. We killed four enemy forces. Are you kidding me? What is estimate of their total strength right now? We should have a decent idea about it. We estimate 3,661 warriors and 22 unknown unit types. Okay, and so I'll hold your position. Hold your position. So they can only transport right now. 180,000 tons, but we could take all the forces off the planet. The thing is, what do we gain from keeping them on the planet? Not a lot. We've lost around 20,000 tons uh, total. Uh, HP, 90,000, GSP, forgery. Okay. Uh, total losses have been pretty significant. This is where I'm going to leave the episode off, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, this was... Uh, one hell of a combat. <laughs> we lost a lot of more forces, and these Rakis seem to be slaughtering our Marine Corps right now. Um, we're probably going to have to give the order to retreat, but if you guys have any ideas, you may want to in the comments below. Uh, we may need to go ahead and get mounting combat capability and try and do something 
to deal with these rackers, or hell, we may even just quarantine this world and forget it even exists, because this is just insanity. We sent 200,000 tons of ground forces towards our opponents, and which is almost, you know, six, 10 times their force number, and we are still losing the combat because of the mountains. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know what to do. If we have a look at our infantry battalions, they are slowly gaining fortification level, which is helping because we have the combat engineers as well. But like, it's 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 a real slog. It's a real slog. Um, we may need to drop a million tons of this planet to take it. I'm not even joking. Like, we may actually need to drop a million tons. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Please don't like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye. And special thanks to you members, Alter Ego One One Zero One. King Stroza, Louis Neto, and Impassive 9001.